Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Italy. I just finished on a commercial shoot out here and I have a few extra days. So I'm gonna go explore. We're gonna do some touristy stuff, of course some parkour in some places I've never been before. And I'm gonna take you along. I'm already late. I'm supposed to check out of this hotel, but I got a bit distracted by their rooftop. Uh, let's get going. Thank you. So I just arrived in Naples and I'm gonna get picked up by one of the local parkour guys. If you can find me. You wanna... Jason, nice to meet you. Yeah, Salvatore, nice to meet you. <laughs> and this was gonna be the last time I would ever see my suitcase before it got stolen out of Zaza's car. But we'll get to that later. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. While driving to the spot, I got a first glimpse of Naples looking out of the window. Inhabited by a million people densely packed together, it truly is the definition of an urban jungle. I learned from Zaza that it's actually one of the oldest cities in the world, which has continuously been inhabited since the Greeks started it. And back then the Greeks called it Neapolis, which basically means new city. That turned into Napoli, and that's how the Italians still call Naples today. Yeah, here, this is the Centro Direzionale, the one of the biggest spots for parkour in Naples. It's very huge. And uh, this is, here is a all starter. The parkour community in Naples, this is where it's born. You might have seen it in a recent Storo video. I'm really excited to check it out. And I'm kind of worried I'm going to destroy my legs for the rest of the trip. Let's, <laughs> let's have a good session. I'm excited. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he said, don't get caught. There's more walls than I can ever jump on and they're grippy, the edges are round and smooth, so if you hit your shins it's not too bad, the grip is good. This is paradise, I found paradise in Italy. So right next to the spot, is a pizzeria and pizza was invented in Napoli, is that true? Yeah, uh, we call pizza margherita because when the, this food was invented they brought to Margherita Queen and they called the margherita. This is the way to my heart, food at a parkour spot. Okay, magic moment. Da -da -da -da. That does look nice. Yeah. Mm. It's really now good. Now you have to speak like this. Mm. What's the, how, do, how do you hold the fingers? Like, like this. this. Three fingers. Okay. And then you go up and down. And then you have to use the wrist, huh? Like yeah. This. We're now heading to the coastline of Naples for the sunset. And that sounds like a really good idea. Smart yeah. man. Driving down the coast during sunset felt like something out of a movie, and maybe that's not a coincidence. Cinema is actually part of Naples' rich history. After World War II, the movie studios were destroyed, and the filmmakers wanted to show what real Italian life looked like. So they took their big cameras out to the street and started shooting with amateur actors on real locations, which is pretty normal nowadays, but back then that was groundbreaking. Saza is thinking about doing a B-twist, which the would first. be his first beat was outside. How do you feel? Uh, emotional. 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 Oh. 
Oh, that was good. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. I swear to you, it's the first time. But... Smile, smile. Uh. So all you lucky ones, what up? You're always on the run, what up? Oh, I landed it. This is the perfect lifestyle, man. You do some jumps on concrete, then you have a pizza, go to the beach, soft Love. landings. I'm a little bit jealous, but I can't stay. I have a place in Rome booked, and I have to get there by tonight. And at this moment, something truly magical happened. We opened the back of the car, and magically, my suitcase had disappeared. We had no idea where it went. I looked at the empty space in complete confusion, but after checking out Saza's door, it was pretty clear what had happened. Fuck. Uh, my suitcase was stolen out of the car. So I'm getting a full Naples experience. Uh, my MacBook was in the suitcase and my passport, which is not ideal. So I have my wallet and my phone and my camera gear. So that's pretty good. That would have made me cry. Now I'm only gonna cry a little bit. So, so sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking city. Mm -hmm. It's the mafia city of Napoli. And yeah, now I don't have to carry a heavy suitcase all the way to Rome, so that's good. And um, let's get on the train. The journey continues. <laughs> I start. Oh, okay. I, I start and I'm gonna say, check this out, there's a parkour spot right in front of the Coliseum. And today I'm with Andrea. I'm Andrea and I'm a pro photographer and I do parkour too. We're gonna have a little bit of a relaxed day, just shooting photos, doing a little bit of jumps and going around Rome. My first time here and I have a local. Yes, ready <laughs> baby. <laughs> Andrea is heading down. Uh, we're on a bridge. We're gonna try to get a photo of me doing a jump up here and he'll be all the way down the street. <laughs> Police just drove by, so I took a little break, but now I'm good to go again. What do you think? Did we get one? That's pretty dope. Sick, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So this was the public drinking fountain that uh, Caesar would always drink from on his way to the Senate. <laughs> Not really, but they have these all around Rome and you can just have a sip and keep training. Guys, it's hard to tell from here, but look at this massive pillar. It's massive. But there's like a whole story engraved the whole way up. I've, this is mind blowing. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. How do you even look at it? <laughs> you have to walk around it in circles with binoculars. It's not a very practical way of reading no, a story. No, no, no. They should have made a book maybe. That's why we don't do these anymore. It's very hard to read. 
The cool thing about walking around Rome is that you really stumble across history everywhere. And it was absolutely mind blowing to see how grand everything was. Like the scale and how huge things are, it's, it's hard for me to put into words or even film them so you can understand. After taking in the view of ancient Rome, Andrea wanted to take me to a place that was important to his personal history. So we drove north of the city to the Olympic Stadium, where he found out about parkour and had his very first parkour training. First one. Second one. <laughs> That's how you safely park your car in Rome. <laughs> Andrea just told me he's lost two, two cars already, so now he got paranoid. This right here is the sports university and stadium of Rome. So you're surrounded by all these statues of athletes and there's a perfect parkour spot with some thick walls and some thick walls. <laughs> Let's do some jumps. Driving on the road like I'm the only one. Shooting to the green, I talk a hole in one. Bible on the dash, stay with the holy one. I know I put in work, they didn't notice none. Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years, marble floor, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich, tie left, French sway, I mix the fist, sick, quick loss, take a risk, we play for the win, might spend a mill at the rug store, like Manafort, but making purchases you can't afford, I move the money like it's illegal, something more of, rigor mortis, where I move dead, people lay low, took L's, know how those days go, say so, he say, but nothing ain't no pesos, deals locked, it's like a case closed, bank road, different league, we don't use money phones, trusting the artist, he's staying steady for it, pray up to the Lord, he knows I'm ready for it, all on the earners, you know I'm heading towards, eyes on the Rolex, it's like a Chevy Ford, driving on the road like I'm the only one, shooting to the green, I talk a hole in one. So we've been to the historical part of Rome, we've seen the stadium which is an iconic spot especially for beginners in Rome and now we're gonna go to a bit more of a street spot just outside the city centre and we're gonna have a session right there. Bonjour, no Hello. Joe. Hello. I'm here. Hi, nice to you. live close to here, huh? Yeah, I go like 10 minutes biking and it's, I'm here. I'm a little bit jealous. This place is something, man. There's a lot of jumps. This is how you recognize a parkour spot. There's a lot of training that happened on this wall <laughs> to try to get up there. Oh. Oh, hey, come on, bro. Gio's just trying to do the wall run because on the other side, there's this sick precision jump over this gap, but you can only do the gap if you can do the wall run. So he's putting, you're putting armpit sweat on your shoes. Is that really a hack? It is, for me it is. When in Rome. Oh, yeah, that worked. <laughs> How did you get up here? Though? You have to grab here, this, the back of this wall. Yeah, there you go. How the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no grip. Let's hope this works, guys. 
Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, perfect! Yes! Oh, the stick! This. So it's basically a bunch of apartment buildings that are all connected and there's little spots just scattered in between all of them. It's uh, there's really a lot of jumps to do. Look, we're just passing. Wow. There's a whole area here. But we're just gonna keep going because there's other stuff to do over there too. It's huge. Let's go. Oh wow. Oi, this is solid. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, let's go. Wow, this roof is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Recording. Yo! What an end to an amazing trip. Today was so fun. Thank you so much, guys. Don't worry. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed a taste of what parkour and what Italy is like. This is my first time here and I already want to come back. But for now, my flight is tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed the edit and bye-bye. Uh, Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ciao, ciao. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this film half as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Hit the like button, comment to support. We have more content coming, even though Corona is making our life a little bit more difficult, but we're working on it. Also, please check out teamferang.com, our website where you can get the clothing I'm wearing in the video, parkour shoes, our gear, and that is the biggest thing you can do to support us, to keep making videos, to keep supporting athletes, and keep growing the parkour culture. See you next time. Have a good one.